Alright, what's up you fabulous <laughs> boys, uh, Jacob Lee here, and welcome back to another video. Yes, that had nothing to do with this video. So, you already know what we're doing by the title, but in case you apparently are illiterate, I have for this video another surprising bag of mystery. I know it's a brown paper bag, I swear it's not drugs. In this paper bag, which is conveniently ripped at the back, we have the three things that have been sweeping meme culture re as of recently. And that would be Coca-Cola coffee. That's the last one. Now, I shouldn't be have to be the one to say this is probably really unhealthy for you. It may say on the back of these that they all have 70 calories, which is honestly decent. And they only have 18 grit. The, hold on. I like how you can actually see the audio being recorded in the background. That's honestly pretty cool. But yeah. Uh, this is a regular Coke. Regular Coca-Cola, as you can see by the bottle. Thanks, Coca-Cola, for... Uh, thinking these plastic things are iconic enough to not go back to glass bottles cool beans corporation but yeah this this one has a total of 200 calories and has 55 grams of sugar so actually that's more health these are healthier than that who would have thought coca-cola coffee their excuse for not putting the cocaine back in coca-cola i guess it's time to put to use this uh the review cup, because I guess this is like a review series. I don't know. I got Chair Coon. I got. This is a new. This is a new. Uh. Member of the review series. The, it's Table Coon. It used to be Counter Coon, who was back over there somewhere, who you can't see because the camera's not pointed that way. And I don't feel like turning the camera around. Mostly smells like. Coca-Cola with a hint of bean. It just looks like a regular Coca-Cola, maybe a little darker than it usually would be. So yeah, I guess let's try it. Like, yeah, it's definitely Coca-Cola with a hint of bean is what I can describe the, the scent of this as. So let's try it then, I guess. It's weird. It tastes more like just Coca-Cola combined with coffee. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is, but like, it's just nothing special about it, really. It's just that. All right, so next up, what we're gonna try is one I think is honestly gonna taste the weirdest. And that would is gonna be the Coca-Cola with coffee, but caramel instead of dark roast and you're probably thinking am I gonna waste these no I'm not gonna drink them later because I'm a college student and we have to do long hours and I have an exam later this week so yay as of recording this because who knows when this is gonna get uploaded I, I this could be literally a week from now two months from now and it'd be like what are you talking about I'm dead uh, morbidity aside uh, let's try this then shall we I can't really smell- I don't know why I'm sniffing it from the can, it's like, not like I can actually tell the scent from the can itself. It's got a lighter shade than the dark blend Coca-Cola, so I guess that's how you can tell it's caramel? I don't know. I don't know why anybody would drink these from a clear mug unless you're doing what I'm doing. Anyways, let's try it, shall we? Okay, yeah, that's a def- okay, I was right. I was right. This is definitely the weirdest of the flavors. It's just... It's just so many different things going on. Like, there's the coffee, there's the caramel, there's the Coca-Cola. It's just... You can't decide what it wants to be, you know? Like, none of them are overpowering each other. None of them are, like, underpowering each other. I don't know if that's the right terminology for it. I don't know. I'm a shit channel maker. If I was to rank these so far, I mean, it's kind of hard to rank two out of three, but like, if I was to say so, I would definitely put Dark Blend over Caramel. However, I get the feeling that this 
uh, Coca-Cola with coffee with vanilla instead of these two. Vanilla Coke is like, uh, already a deal. Like, vanilla, like, Coke float, like, that already sounds like pretty good. Hopefully I didn't shake this too much. I did not. I am great. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I already said, I already asked myself, why am I trying to drink, smell it from the can when you can't smell it from the can? Who knows? I'm an idiot. This is honestly the most Coca-Cola, like, of the t actually. No, 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 I don't think any of them actually match the, like, the coloration of Coca-Cola. Why am I becoming a Coca-Cola review channel? Why? Coca-Cola, sponsor me, I guess. Yes, sponsor me, the guy, with less than 100 subscribers. Unless you want to help me get to that 100 subscriber goal, you, not not Coca-Cola, you, the viewer, if you want to help me get to 100 subs, subs uh, then hit that like button and subscribe. Can't guarantee content will be like this in the future. Although, considering the fact that this is incredibly similar to what I've already done in the past, it's highly likely it'll be similar. It's time to try the vanilla coffee coke. Mm, that's actually... oh. Yep, that's, that's very easily the best out of the three. Yep. Order, order of best from best uh, from uh, your left, my right, worst to best. Uh, Coca, oh, I don't even know if that's in front. Coca Cola, regular Coca Cola, caramel, coffee, Coca Cola, dark blend, and vanilla. Very easily. So cheers to that, I guess. Is there any more to really say with this video? Yeah, I could try to mix them all together. Who knows, maybe I discover the secret to cocaine Coca-Cola or whatever, I don't know. I'm postulating on something that's ri fairly ridiculous. So, this is with all three mixed together, I try to make them as even as possible. I have no idea if they're even, I don't really care because it is all <laughs> sugar in the end. And, uh, oh god, excuse me. And I'm gonna have to go for a run tomorrow. So yeah, I guess, uh, mm, yeah, drunk. Mm. Wait, what the f <laughs> Holy f that actually tastes really good. I think this is the way you're actually supposed to drink these because, like, yeah, that actually makes sense because like a vanilla represents like a cream, the dark blend represents the actual coffee, the caramel represents, I don't know, some kind of flavor. It is it makes it taste really good. Well damn. Learn something new every day then, huh? Still don't recommend you do this though, because this is like I said, these are 70 calories, right? So Say you did what I did, except you combined all three cans instead of just the just the minimal amount I did, right? So say you did that, right? So that'd be 70 times three, that's 210 calories. That is 10 calories more than one of these. And also that means you're drinking, hold the frickin' phone, 18 grams of sugar times three. That would be... Um, 54, which is, it's one gram less, but that's like, what, one gram less? It's not that much of a difference, so, while this does taste really good, I cannot, in good faith, recommend you do that, because that would be bad for your health. And I'm pretty sure somebody could sue me if they, event if they died or something, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that that's literally all I planned for this video. Bye.